Hello and welcome to another editing vlog. It's been a while. The last time I talked to you guys, uh, I was trying to edit the second draft of my novel to prepare it before I left for my honeymoon in Iceland. And uh, that didn't happen. I ended up finishing it when we got back from our honeymoon in Iceland. Speaking of which, if you wanna see the vlogs from Iceland, I'm currently in the process of posting those vlogs on my second YouTube channel. I love being able to relive it, so if you wanna see those, head over there. Uh, but today, I just got all the feedback back from my alpha readers, because what I'm doing is I'm doing a round of alpha readers editing the book and then doing a round of beta readers and that is in replacement of hiring a developmental editor because I just found I get more out of my beta readers which is why I decided to do two rounds one round of alpha readers one round of beta readers and then move on to copy edits after that so I just spent all morning sorting through their feedback and I I am so pleasantly surprised. This manuscript has already had a ton of rewrites, so when I sent it to my alpha readers, I was not feeling good about it. I was feeling like uh, the manuscript was a mess and that they were gonna hate it. And I am very happy to say uh, like they actually loved it and they had a lot of notes of things that I can update, but they are all things that I'm, one, not surprised about, and two, don't require like a ton of work, at least in comparison to all the work that I've already done to this manuscript. So I plan to finish this book June 30th so I can send it to beta readers July 1st. And what I did this morning is that as I was going through their notes, I have a whole sec second document that I just wrote down all the big picture notes that I kind of wanted to edit throughout the entire book. And I have a lot of them, but I only really highlighted one that I feel like is super important because it relates to the theme of the book and kind of really needs to be perfected. And honestly, I'm just, I'm super excited. I don't know what else to say. Like I've never felt so good about this manuscript before. Uh, my biggest worry writing book two was that book two was gonna be not as good as book one, but I feel like there's actually the possibility that book two could be better than book one, which is just kind of mind blowing to me because book one, I feel like is a pretty strong book in my opinion. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I love Meet Me at the Summit. So working on book two, I'm very, very excited about it. So I have a plan because my plate is completely bombarded with a few different projects right now. So I had to move around my schedule in order to make time in my day to work on this book. And a lot of the problem was also that I have a ton of graphic design clients, whether that be cover design or book formatting. I am just inundated with clients right now, which is great, that's my main source of income, but I need to be able to balance and do my stuff while still doing all their stuff and not falling behind. So I had to schedule stuff into my day, and my goal with my schedule is not to work on the weekends, because I actually have some fun plans for the next upcoming weekends, so fingers crossed. <laughs> So this is what my schedule is looking like. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my husband works second shifts, so he gets home around 1 a.m., hence why my schedule is like this, because we don't wake up till like 8, 9, sometimes 10 o'clock, so my work days don't typically start until 10 a.m. or sometimes even like 1 p.m., uh, so uh, bear with me. My schedule is a little weird. So we can see right here, the time has already come and gone that I sorted through my alpha reader feedback. Uh, right now we are on my lunch break and you can kind of see a pattern. We have my mornings from 10 a.m. to 12.15. I am editing my book, then I take a break for lunch and then I work on my book again from 1 to 1.40, and then I work on my book again from 1 to 4.30, and then I have t like me time scheduled in, aka working out, and then dinner, and then after dinner is when I do admin stuff, which is just answering emails or anything else that could come up. That's the biggest thing I've learned being self-employed is that I literally need to schedule in time to answer emails because 
that's how chaotic it is every single day. And then from 8 to 11 p.m., I have graphic design scheduled in. That's just time for me to do updates for clients, to design stuff for clients that are coming up. And then at 11 p.m., I have cleaning time scheduled in. I've discovered that I need to also schedule in time to clean my house. I actually have really bad allergies, so I find I need to vac almost daily in order to keep up with my allergies in my house because I am actually allergic to my dog. And then Tuesday, I have a webinar that I want to attend, but honestly, if I'm falling behind that day, I might just skip going to that webinar. I try to continually learn whether that be taking courses, webinars, reading nonfiction books, because I always want to shoot to be better and keep up with trends in terms of like book marketing and that sort of thing. Um, and then Wednesdays, I have a mastermind with two friends where we just do goal setting. We talk, we socialize. I'm an extrovert. I need to talk to people. Otherwise, I get really lonely. So that is more or less what my schedule is going to be looking like for the next two or three weeks until the end of June. And I'm going to try to keep my weekends free so I can have time for myself to recuperate. But I also anticipate needing to maybe do some graphic design work on the weekends because I know that um, this couple of hours every day might not be enough to get all the work that I need to done, but we will see when we get there. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Okay, we are at the end of week one. I think I have about a week and a half until my deadline and I am on schedule. So the first day, the goal was to edit two chapters because on the first day I also went through and collected all the feedback from my beta readers. And then every day after that, the goal was to edit three chapters and that should leave me with plenty of time to edit the entire book before July 3rd. 30th, I believe the deadline is. Honestly, the editing has been going really good. I'm falling in love with my story again, which is good because I haven't really fallen in love with it until now. It's been a very much hate-hate relationship. But I think the heavy editing is behind me because I know more or less what is left in terms of editing as well. And I'm feeling pretty confident with it and the editing is going faster. I've mostly been adding a lot of dialogue in and adding a few more things here and there to clarify stuff. Um, I haven't done much else besides that. I might add in a scene here or there, but I don't think there'll be entire scenes. I think I'm more just building on the scenes that are already existing in this book. So in my, so the schedule that I've created for editing, I'm actually not required to edit on the weekends, but because I've been editing so much during the week, I actually am very much behind on graphic design work. So I do plan on doing that over the weekend. So I am still working on the weekends. But as a final check-in, just know that I am on chapter 14. And I don't remember how many chapters are in my book, so sorry about that.
when I get edits back from beta readers, I think I'm going to start in the middle of the book because I feel like I edited the beginning of the book really strong and now towards the end, I feel like my editing is getting weaker and I'm getting lazier with the edits. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, when the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken Take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves That's a wrap. I just finished editing the third draft of this book. Oh, <laughs> uh, someone got dental surgery today, so she's a little drugged up and uh, a little loopy, extra cuddly. You know the deal. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a rough day, huh? But as I was trying to say, um, <laughs> she's so cute. I just finished editing the third draft of uh, Project Road Trip 2, and now I'm gonna prepare to send it to beta readers. There's a bunch of surveys that I'm gonna prepare that they fill out as they read the book. They're also gonna be able to leave comments. I'm doing basically the same exact beta reader process that I did for Meet Me at the Summit. But that's gonna be a wrap on this writing vlog. I have a puppy who needs lots of cuddles. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to go cuddle with this little one now.